Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to in today's flight I am going to be flying with my mother. Say hello now. Hello. Yes. If it's your first time here, my name is Sassy Funke and I'm a Nigerian travel and lifestyle content creator. So today is very interesting because I am on my way to Canada from London and I'm going to be flying Boeing 789 Dreamliner from London Heathrow all the way to Calgary. It's going to be a nine hour flight, actually eight hours and 15 minutes approximately. But the scary thing right now is it's nearly eight o'clock. My flight is at 10. There is literally like insane, I'm not sure you can see like, but insane traffic on the way to the airport. So hoping I don't miss the flights. It's really, really weird that there's traffic. It's Saturday morning in London and I don't know where everyone is going or what's going on. So it's actually shocking that there is actually traffic. Anyways guys, when we get to the airport, we'll talk a little bit more, but if it's your first time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you never miss any of my content, yes? Yes. So, let's go. Guys, we literally just made it to the airport and it's 8, like, 47. So hoping, I think check-in closes at 9 a.m. So literally like 30 minutes to make it, which is crazy. guys i am in terminal 2 people and literally made it through as you guys seen um like literally like 12 minutes before the flight was the flight was meant to be closed boarding made it through security was fine literally took like five minutes so it wasn't that busy now it's 903 and i'm just gonna like walk about a little bit before getting something to quickly eat before heading to the plane which is boarding approximately 920 so i only have 20 minutes before i have to head off On getting to the boarding gate, I was a bit disappointed by how chaotic the boarding process was. All zones were called up pretty much at the same time and were being boarded at the same time. So I didn't really see the point of priority boarding or the zone demarcations. The premium economy cabin on the plane had a 232 configuration with two seats on the left hand side, three seats in the middle and two seats on the right. I had a window seat because that is my preference every single time I fly. Sometimes we're not ourselves, there's no one I can turn to. The leg room in premium economy was quite sufficient, especially for someone of my size. At the back of each seat in the premium economy cabin was a coat hook, the TV screen with a detachable remote control. The in-flight entertainment system from its look didn't look so modern, which gave me the impression that the plane was a bit old. Provided for premium economy passengers was a bottle of water and an amenity kit.
I was impressed that each of the seats in the cabin had a universal plug, which meant that I could use my laptop during the duration of the flight. Also provided on my seat was a soft pillow and a thin blanket. Truth be told, I was expecting the blanket to feel a little bit more premium. What do you guys think? Inside the amenity kit was a toothbrush, a toothpaste, an eye cover mask, socks, and earplugs. I love that the windows in the cabin were dimmable windows. Before we set out to fly, the cabin crew offered us welcome drinks of orange juice and water. We were also given a food menu which had a main dish option of chicken or pasta. We were also then given earphones. Let's take a quick look at the entertainment system. I was quite impressed with the many new releases that were available on board, the likes of Aladdin and Co. Also, one could view the food menu on the screen, which was pretty cool. And pleasantly surprised that the duty-free shopping list was also made available on screen. I also like that the flight information simulations was also available on screen and it looked pretty cool. Not long after we took off, I visited the washroom and I would admit that this was the most impressive feature of my flight. I have never seen a washroom this impressive available in a premium economy cabin, which also economy passengers could access. The size and cleanliness of the washroom was lovely and I loved the fact that the washroom had a window which you could look out of and with stunning views of the clouds. Such a nice touch. For lunch, I opted for the chicken dish and to say I was impressed with how tasty this dish was would be an understatement. The passenger next to me and I bonded over how great this meal was.
couple of hours later, we're given snacks from cookies to pretzels. To be honest, I wasn't a fan of these cookies, but I do know that Canadian chocolate and cookies taste very different to those that you find in Europe. The ice cream we were given though was quite delicious. Just prior to landing, we were served with a hot sandwich, which I opted for a chicken option, and it was quite tasty too. Landed in Calgary, it had been snowing, so the views were very Christmassy, um, with even our flight attendant welcoming us by saying Merry Christmas. I was impressed with my flight overall. The premium economy seat was very comfortable as the recline was great and my body felt great after a 9 hour flight, something I wasn't expecting at all. The washroom was also great. The flight attendants were very lovely. The only thing I would change on this flight would be if the cabin could have been a little bit more modern. It felt just a little bit dated. Did you enjoy your flight? Good. Okay, so my mom's verdict is good. I'll give my verdict in a minute. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this my Air Canada review. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. And let me know if you enjoyed the review and what you enjoyed most. See you guys next time.